everybody, it's Harry from Slap Your Daddy Barbecue, the YouTube channel that teaches you how to master barbecue so you can spread barbecue love. I'm super excited today because I get to do a couple of things I love to do. Cook with some live fire and cook right on the grill and on the hot coals with a salt crusted beef tenderloin. I have uh, a couple of grill guns here which Bob Healy from grillblazer.com sent me. You guys saw my earlier videos where I cooked and had a lot of fun using his grill gun. And uh, in this episode, I get to play with more of Bob's little invention here called the grill gun. We're gonna cook up a uh, beef tenderloin, caveman style, cook it with a soft crust right on the fire in this Lobo El Trapo episode. brother-in-law is from Colombia and his name is Nacho. Nacho tells me that in Colombia they cook a dish called Loma al Trapo which is a salt crusted tenderloin that's wrapped in a piece of cloth and thrown right on the fire and I guess Loma al Trapo translates to beef tenderloin or beef cooked in a cloth. I have uh, some uh, cheesecloth here. I uh, have some salt, uh, some herbs, I'm going to show you guys how we throw everything on the grill. This is a super easy, super impressive dish you can make. In fact, you can actually make it, pack it up, take it to your friend's place, take it to a tailgate, take it to a campsite, take it to a party or a potluck, throw it on the fire and amaze your guests with this wonderful dish. According to Nacho, uh, in Colombia, they usually soak uh, the uh, cheesecloth or any kind of old towel in uh, red wine. But... Uh, I have some red wine here, but uh, I, you know, cheers to you. <laughs> I much rather drink it than to use it to wet the cheesecloth. So we'll just do a splash of it just for sake. And then uh, we will uh, wet the cloth so that we can create a nice base to lay on about half of inch of salt, throw some herbs on it, wrap the uh, filet mignon in it, and then cook it on a live fire. This filet mignon here actually, believe it or not, comes from the Walmart in Diamond Bar. As you guys know, it's all shelter in place, so you can't go really very far to get food. And uh, when you go out and get food, you know, you, you risk being exposed. So in California, at least now, everybody is supposed to wear a mask. I wore a mask on my previous episode for my Easter lamb breast, and uh, a lot of you guys liked it. A lot of you guys didn't like it. You say, Harry, why are you wearing a mask at home? I wore it to set a good example. So in this episode, who knows, I might wear the mask as we get on with this cook, uh, as we cook this beef tenderloin, salt crusted, caveman style. I'm going to also use uh, Bob Healy's grill gun to start my uh, coals. And uh, this is a great tool if you don't have it yet, you got to go get you one of these things. I think he did a Kickstarter and uh, he already shipped out like 6,000 production units. I had a prototype earlier which I featured on my channel, I loved it a lot. So. Bob was so kind enough to send me the real one instead of production copies. So if you want yours, go to grillblazer.com to get your own version of the grill gun. Uh, I can tell you that it really brings out the Neanderthal in you. At least it brings out the Neanderthal in me. Cooking with live fire, unga unga. You really want to do something using a grill gun, especially if you're cooking over live fire in this salt crusted episode. I'm going to trim the beef tenderloin from Walmart. This is a choice Angus grade. So well, you know, uh, I know there are different Walmarts in America and I know some of you have complained to me that your Walmart doesn't carry beef like that. I'm happy to report that uh, the one in my city does carry a lot of high-end meat like a lamb, it carries uh, Angus beef, even carries grass-fed beef which I'll feature on my future channel. Uh, this one is uh, a uh, 6.4 pound and it runs about $11.82 which is really very affordable for a Angus uh, beef tenderloin or filet mignon. When you buy it, you make sure that uh, you know how to trim it. I'll show you guys how we trim a beef and loin. Get it ready to cook on the grill. And uh, the parts that uh, are trimmed out, uh, I'm gonna reuse them to cook another dish. And uh, first thing you wanna do is when you take it out of the packet, remember I always told you guys, don't never wash your meat in the sink. This is the purge. And uh, you wanna carefully discard off this bird here which has a lot of pathogens and uh, you will notice that the uh, beef tenderloin is a really big muscle it runs near the spine of the cow towards the hind legs here and uh, 
you're gonna have to trim it a little bit to get it into the right shape and uh, remove some of the silver skin and the fascia. I'm gonna trim it using a Dalstrong uh, Quantum Series knife. Thanks to the nice folks at Dalstrong, they sent me some knives. Uh, this is their boning knife and it really works really well in, if you want to trim any kind of meat. There is quite a lot of fat here, so which I have to trim off. So this will take a little while, but what you want to do is you want to trim off all of the silver skin and the fascia from the tenderloin. See here, the beef tenderloin has a little joint here. You peel it off so you can get that right from the tenderloin. Okay, we're done. And uh, we have three parts here. We're going to use this for another dish. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to make a beef martini in another episode. We're going to do a lomo al trapo with this beautiful tenderloin here. Look at the marbling. And then for these scraps, you can render down the beef tallow and use the beef tallow to make french fries, fried rice, a uh, whole bunch of stuff you can do with it. So nothing goes to waste in my household. I have a piece of cheesecloth here, which I'm going to wet. The traditional recipe is uh, you're supposed to use wine, uh, but let's, uh, let's just give, pay homage to a little bit of wine here. You can use a dry towel, but I'm trying to pay homage to nachos. Colombian style recipe. They, are, they lay a cloth out. Put some salt on it. And I'm using uh, diamond crystal kosher salt. To add uh, something a little special to the dish, I'm going to use uh, a special kind of Madagascan pepper. This is a wild jungle vine and it's quite rare. It's found in Madagascar. I scored it uh, in Amazon. I was able to find a small batch of these uh, peppers. These are highly sought after by all the cooks around the world, like all the Wolfgang Pucks and uh, you know Nobu and so on. This uh, pepper is really special and I use it to give my edge to the food I make. That way it has a slight, like a lemony pepper taste, which is different than the normal black pepper. So we're gonna add a little bit of this tissaferi pepper. I'm gonna grind it fresh and so, and place some under the actual salt itself. So I have the special Madagascan pepper to add to my Colombian dish. So it just gives a wonderful, wonderful, nice aroma to it. Look at all the flames. You've got to get it to the point with a white ash. I have my uh, uh, Loma Al Trapo here. I'm going to wet it a little bit with water so that it doesn't burn so quickly. I'm going to drop it in right here. Like so. Okay, man cuisine. Get some of that uh, char on it. All right, we'll do it about 10 to 15 minutes on one side and about 9 minutes on the other side. We're going to get the internal to a beautiful, medium, rare-ish. I like around 128 degrees. Let it rise to about 132. It's gonna be absolutely perfect filet mignon, Colombian style, wrapped in cheese. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
I mean, the light is good, but you can see it's perfectly medium rare. I'm using a Dell Strong knife. This is their Shogun series, Damascus Steel. They sent me some knives and uh, I've been using on my videos, really enjoying them. This is a slicer, so it's gonna be beautiful. Look at that. I have a little bit more of the rare in the back and a little bit of medium rare. I also have some that are well done towards the edges. It looks absolutely gorgeous and uh, super superbly cooked. Uh, it's just a tad. Um, I have a rare here, I have medium rare, and I have well done. So I have three kinds of cuts uh, already prepared. Let me take a bite out of this one here. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, you can see that here. Pretty beautiful. Take a bite of this, filet mignon. Absolutely a fantastic flavors. The uh, salt has penetrated the outside surface. So when you bite into it, the middle part is tender, juicy, beefy. And then when you get to the crust, you get a hint of salt, you get a hint of the herbs, a little bit of that uh, Madagascan tissafari pepper in there. Just a, just a great, fantastic bite. You know, when I cook filet mignon, sometimes filet mignon tends to be sort of a little bit kind of bland. And, you know, some people say it's kind of boring. That's why I like to eat uh, ribeye or flat iron. Uh, but uh, this way of cooking filet mignon takes it up a notch. Get that crust on it. Nice crust, beautiful saltiness in it. And the fun thing is about, about this all is that if you are an inner pyromaniac like me who likes live fire cooking, this is the ideal way to play with fire throw your meat on the on the pit, caveman style, and get a absolutely, absolutely knock yourself out result with the uh, Lomo El Trapo. So, uh, you're gonna sacrifice a piece of uh, kitchen towel, but no big deal. A little, a little about half or two cups of salt, and you're all set to go. So, uh, I'm gonna have another bite because it's so good. Let's have another taste. Beef tenderloin heaven. Really delicious. The saltiness is just about perfect, super tender, moist, beefy. So now that enough about me, let's uh, see if our brisket dog, Mr. Beans, would like a piece, see if he prefers this over brisket. Can you do some tricks before you eat your filet mignon? Can I have a shake? Shake your hands, shake, shake hands, shake, shake your hands. Okay, good boy. The other hand, the other hand, good boy. Okay, lay down, lay down, lay down. Okay, good boy, good boy. All right, we're gonna try a little trick, right? I'm gonna put the food on your nose and then you're gonna eat it, okay? Don't eat it yet. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you can't wait, right, Beans? It was really good, right? All right, seal of approval from Beans. And uh, he really likes Loma al Trapo, Colombian style tender filet, filet mignon, cooked right caveman style with the salt crust. All right, folks, another episode from Slap Your Daddy Barbecue. Hope you had as much fun watching this episode as I had making it. So when you're at home, sheltering in place, remember, Harry taught you to stay alive, stay home, and cook barbecue. <laughs>